power that you come here and like just look at the pattern on the entrance there to the fort. This is a special place. Hello everyone, I am Lewis, you are watching Lost in Travel and welcome to our final part on the Fly in the Nest expeditions in India. Previously, I started the spectacular Golden Triangle tour on the crazy streets of Delhi before swiftly moving on to Agra where we indulged in delightful street food. Keep this piece in one go. Yeah. Right, right now? Yeah, in one go. One go, come on. Yeah. Woo! Why do I have to eat that in one go though? Oh, this is cheesy. Oh, okay. <laughs> Explored breathtaking forts. He knows his places. Had our minds blown out a wonder of the world. Wow. I also celebrated my birthday. All of these wonderful experiences wouldn't have been possible without Even and Jess oh. from Flan the Nest. <laughs> our exceptional tour guide Mahavir and the friends made along the way. As always, all the information on the FTN expeditions and my tour providers are found in the description below. Today, we wrap up this Indian adventure in a style only fit into the hectic theme of this country as we hit up the intense streets of India's illustrious pink city, Jaipur. Hunter, tell me, what are your thoughts on where you are right now? Um, and you and, and, and give you some bite. <laughs> <laughs> I am frozen now. I can't move. Okay, go on the balcony. Balcony? You mean the bench? Uh... Oh, so after the most insane rickshaw ride to start our adventures here in Jaipur, we have now arrived at the Jantar Mantar Observatory and this place holds some pretty cool things like uh, sundials and um, a lot of stuff about astronomy so if you're into all of that, this place might interest you. Well it looks like we are we're actually watching an, a wedding get set up here in Jaipur. Look at how fancy and traditional it's looking. It's so amazing just to see how the community just comes together in these sort of things to get it all set up. So the wedding that is getting put on here at the palace looks like it's going to be absolutely extraordinary. There's so many people setting it up. Yeah, it feels like we've just walked in on what it might be a great night. I really wish we could stay a bit longer and actually see the wedding go out. I don't know if it's happening today or when it is, but it's nice to be able to say that I've seen a traditional Indian wedding getting put on here in one of the most spectacular places in the whole of India. Give you the shirt off my back If you ask me Spend every penny that I have To make you happy What's mine is yours That's what I'm here for Jaipur isn't called the Pink City for no reason. It is because of what is behind me right now. The palace is so pink, so vibrant, and very different to all the other towns we've been to here on our Fly in the Nest expedition. Delhi was wild, there was lots of colour, but it was more desert-like, there was a lot of sandstone everywhere. Same with Agra, it had more of a desert vibe until you got to the Taj Mahal, and then it's just complete marble, so beautiful and charming and graceful and then you get here to the pink city and it's just got such a colourful, lively atmosphere. Really good first impressions off the bat here in the city of Jaipur. <laughs> Whoop. Whoop. I gotta take a picture. T she's taking photos of my bum. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay. No, okay. No, no. This, this, this okay. <laughs> Hello Hunter. Oh, that, 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 that's cool. <laughs> that's my bum. <laughs> You're so funny. I think that is the strangest place to find a Tim Hortons. And I stay five minutes away from one in a random town in Scotland. <laughs> So Amelia, does it feel like we have crashed at a wedding? It feels like we are literally the wedding crashes right now. It looks yeah. incredible, super bougie. Um, and I can't believe we're just walking yeah. around while they're setting up. Let's hope no one has any objections to the... Oh, hello. Hello. Is it Hunter's wedding? 
Okay. The Princess Hunter's wedding? You? Me? Not it's not my wedding. Oh, oh, oh. You're oh, not meant to be talking. I've got to be quiet. There's a wedding in progress. You throw it all, you throw everything in the dark. <laughs> So it's now the next morning and actually it's already our final day here on the Flannerest Expeditions and we are going to be ending the day in style. That's if the weather can clear up because we are out here to go on my very first, <laughs> our very first, hot air balloon ride to see the, the amazing landscape outside of Jaipur. We've travelled an hour out and I'm so buzzing to just go on a hot air balloon ride but also to be the say my first one was here in India. Um, Amelia, what is a... Uh, What's your thoughts on being able to go on there with Brad, Bradley, if you will? <laughs> Stop copying me. Um, no, really excited if it goes ahead. Yes, we've both got our fingers crossed, but if not, the view is still spectacular. The view here, is amazing. So. Very excited to go on my first hot air balloon ride. So we will see if it pans out with Brad. Yeah, with Brad, Bradley, if you will. <laughs> Thankfully, the fog did clear up and we managed to take in Jaipur scenery from the sky. Here is a little selfie we got with my drone. How good is that quality? We love the experience that much, a few of us also went and done it again the next again morning. Although things did take a dramatic turn, when I was too busy trying to capture footage for this very vlog, I went overboard and had to swim my way back to safety. All of this is 100% true guys, I highly recommend this one of a kind experience. I need to see what I can do, but So after our unsuccessful hot air balloon ride, we are now back out exploring some more of Jaipur on our final day here in the city. And we've came to this amazing view. It looks like the Great Wall of China is going right up, right up into the distance. I can't believe how historic Jaipur is looking right now. And look at all the birds. Oh, that is an incredible sight to see. Also, we're going to be exploring Jaipur on quite an interesting vehicle coming up. I feel like I've entered Indiana Jones. This place feels like somewhere that Hunter's treasure map would take me. Just the whole stairs, it feels like it's going to be a problem solving activity to try to find the treasure. It's going to go down and that's just what I love about India. It just feels like such an adventure everywhere you look. But anyways, the adventure will always continue. The sun will rise long after I've given up on sleeping. Can almost hear the So we're now currently here at the Amber Four in Jaipur and this again just like all the other forts we've seen we saw one in Agra we didn't go into one in Delhi but we did manage to see one and I think every single fort here in the country of India is so remarkable so unique as well like it was all the redstone marble colours in the Agra fort that you come here and like just look at the pattern on the entrance there to the fort this is a special place Wow, look at that view. It works so well with the India haze that takes over the whole city. I always say that doesn't matter how impressive forts, palaces, castles and all that are, the view is what makes it. Why are you always running from the ones who care the most? Take your time and you will see that there's always a room for you here. Cause love is life. 
<laughs> Hello, what's that? I was like, oh, we've got Boom. time. Back. So on our last planned activity here in Jaipur, we went on the pink rickshaw food tour and we tried so many different snacks and flavours, but the coolest part was going around a pink rickshaw, which is a community of women that apparently they were homeless, they were unemployed, or they were really struggling here in the city of Jaipur, and they just came together and made this business the pink rickshaw food tour they go around they take you to try loads of different snacks we tried a good few we went to try some samosas we tried some ice cream which by the way i was so delicious i've not had ice cream in a long while so it's just nice to have some sugar in me i think our energies are all running low from how busy the trip has been and then we also had some chai which you can't, can't go wrong with that it was actually my first try it was my first try of chai when I was in Delhi and now I've had that about four times on this whole trip so that that shows you how nice it is and then finally we went and tried this um yogurt drink which uh which is called Lassi and yeah that was just so nice a lot of sugar has been in me and now it's just gonna be time to hit the hay but I actually know the pink rickshaw girls from something else I don't know if, if you're British and you're watching this do you remember that Amazon advert that I actually used the pink rickshaws in their ad so what they did was basically the pink rickshaws were delivering the amazon deliveries and i'm sure amazon actually gave them a percentage of the earnings during that time that they had them on the ad so that's what i remember them from so when i found out we were actually going to go meet them and we we're going to go around the insane streets of jaipur i was really excited and it was worth it that was such a fun way a bumpy way though to go and see the sights of this very lovely city so I'm now back at the hotel and we're now going to go relax by the pool because we are getting ready now for the farewell dinner of the Flanderness expedition and oh I've had a blast. It's really going to be an emotional one. I think I've met so many amazing people on this trip. Um, not Stephen obviously, he is he's a bit boring. Oh, just, just kidding. Oh. Um, but yeah, I have loved this trip so much. I'm going to want to stay in touch with everyone and I hope that it goes to my plan. And just, you know, I think we're going to just have a good laugh forevermore about some of the, the memories that we've made on this trip. If you've never done group tours before, this was my first as well. I've noticed it's a great way to meet so many like-minded people. You've just, you've got a week together, right? well or longer and it's just you know the, the great amount of time just to get to know everyone and you know we've all got this one interest in mind and that is travel you've always gonna have something to talk about with someone who also likes travel and it's just yeah it's great just to meet loads of new people and just go and have a blast with them and just make some amazing unforgettable memories i'm gonna find it hard to say goodbye i think it's gonna be a tough one but i think that that just shows you how magical this whole experience has been. Thank you for the rest for organizing a tour such as the one that we're on right now. It's been an incredible, incredible time. And who knows, I might be joining you again on the next one. I am now Hunter's best friend. Uh, so I guess you've got no other choice but to let me join you. All right, guys, let's go have a lovely dinner. The Fly the Nest expedition concluded with tears of joy as we cherished incredible memories and bid farewell to lifelong friends. I want to extend a massive thank you to every single person who made this tour one of the best trips I've ever experienced. Stephen and Jess, thank you for orchestrating this journey and for being as genuine off screen as you are on screen. Hunter, even though you chose Amelia as your new bestie in the end, it was a pleasure sharing laughs with you throughout this week. I think that has more to say about my mentality than yours. Mahavir, thank you for making India's intense atmosphere less intimidating and, and overwhelming. And also for your friendship that made our time in your country truly amazing. Special thanks to everyone who shared this adventure with me, from Amelia and Aisha to Bonnie and Walt. There were way too many of you guys to name. Each of you made this trip unforgettable and I wouldn't have wanted to experience the most insane place I've ever been with anyone else. Finally, a massive thank you to everyone who watched this free part series. It was incredibly rewarding and fun to create. And editing this has brought back so many amazing memories. I hope it helps you envision the wild yet magical experience of exploring this incredible country. There truly is nowhere else like India. And with all of that being said, please subscribe now to join me on my 
next adventure. I'll catch you all there, guys. Peace out. See you later. Bye. Why can't we be friends? If it's so much easier. Before we got our feelings hurt. And I can't pretend that it's easy. Why?